Hey guys, welcome back to your 31st tutorial in the C++ course. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can use two-dimensional vectors in C++. In the previous video, we have learned how we can pass vectors as arguments in functions. So in this video, let us talk how we can create a two-dimensional vector. Now, as we create two-dimensional arrays, we have learned how we can do that. We can also create a two-dimensional vector but the syntax changes a little bit so let us look at a declaration of an multi-dimensional or two-dimensional vector in order to do that first i'm going to say vector and then i'm going to put these angular braces in between them i'm going to type vector once again so vector and then i'm going to put these angular braces in here i'm going to give the data type of this multi-dimensional vector let's say it's an integer and then after that you need to give the name to that multi-dimensional vector let's say the name is numbers and then in order to assign values to this multi-dimensional vector we can use a multi-dimensional array style so i'm going to create two rows and three columns so let's create two rows and in the first row i'm going to assign the values three values which are three elements are also known as three columns and here I'm going to assign two values once again and right here and then at the end you put a semicolon now this looks some more different than the normal vector but don't worry I'm going to explain it clearly now so first you're going to put this vector keyword and after that you're going to put a pair of angular braces in between them we're going to put this vector class or the vector keyword once again and then you're going to create two pairs of angular break one pair of angular braces once again and then you're going to give the data type now after that after the vector and the data type after assigning them you need to give the name to that multi-dimensional vector and then in order to assign values you can use a two-dimensional array style so let's see how we can access all those elements in this multi-dimensional vector now you can use and an nested for loop in order to iterate through all these elements so let us use a nested for loop so i'm going to say for and i equal to zero i is less than two the number of rows and i plus plus and in here i'm going to create an another for loop int j equal to zero j is less than 3 which are the number of columns and j plus plus and in here i'm going to print all these elements by saying c out the name to our multi-dimensional vector numbers and then i'm going to create two pairs of square brackets in the first pair i'm going to put y for the rows and in the second pair i'm going to put j for the columns and then i'm going to give an end line so let's save this program and now when we compile a program you see that all the values will be shown in the output like here if you're not saying it correctly i'm going to give it a tab so let's give an tab and then at the end i'm going to give a new line see out and new line so let's save this program and run it once again and now you see that there are two rows and three columns so this is the first row this first line is the first row and this is the second row and these are the columns 11 22 and 33 222 333 444 are all the columns which also can be called as elements so this is how you can create a multi-dimensional vector in c if you like this video please like it subscribe my channel and i will see you in the next video